perfectionism can seem like a good thing, right? After all, who wouldn't want to be and do their best? Well, the pursuit of perfection can actually hold you back, leading to overthinking, procrastination, and stress. So I want to talk about the true cost of perfectionism and how you can overcome it to start taking more action. So first we need to understand the cost of perfectionism. Well, firstly, perfectionism leads to paralysis. What do I mean by that? When you're obsessed with making everything perfect, it's very easy to become paralyzed by the fear of making a mistake. This often leads to inaction, which just leads to a downward spiral where you spend more time worrying about errors and mistakes than actually going out there, taking action, and making progress. Secondly is the emotional toll, because the constant pressure to be perfect will lead to stress and anxiety, and a feeling of never being good enough. Over time, this is going to destroy your self-esteem and your energy leaving you feeling drained. So how do we overcome this perfectionism? The first thing we need to do is to focus on progress, not perfection. So shift the mindset from aiming to do everything perfectly the first time to just doing it the first time. You need to recognize that even if you go and do something for the first time and do it horribly, you are still ahead of the person who's still planning. There's this common um, thing called the thinker and the doer. And this is, I think, very, very close to perfectionism as well, because the perfectionist is always the thinker. It's always the person who's just sitting there and thinking constantly about their plans and what they're going to do. The doer, on the other hand, is thinking about what they're doing. You see the difference there. One person is thinking about what they're going to do in the future, and the other person is thinking about the present and what they're doing right now, day in and day out, to improve themselves. The difference there is that, well, yes, it is good to think about the future and what you're going to do in the future. If you're not doing anything now, then what good is that? Secondly is to set realistic goals. A lot of people set very unrealistic goals, which will make the pressure to be perfect much higher. So you wanna be breaking down the tasks that you have and the goals into smaller milestones so you can reduce the pressure to be perfect and increase your chance to take action daily. Third is to embrace mistakes as learning opportunities. I've talked about this a lot over um, several videos in the past, but it's so important that I need to say this again. You need to accept that mistakes are natural and they're okay. They are a part of the learning process. Every single person who has become great at anything has failed. They have made mistakes. The difference between them and someone who didn't succeed is that they either didn't even try or they tried but then when they made a mistake they quit because they thought that they weren't good enough that is the truly truly the difference because those people who became great they learned from each mistake they would review themselves and see okay I did this wrong this time well I'm never gonna do that again and think about it if you make 20 mistakes yeah, you can't fix all 20 mistakes at the same time. That's going to be way too difficult. Pick one. One mistake you're not going to do next time. And then the next time, and then the next time. And over 20 times of doing it, you're going to have removed those 20 mistakes that you made. That's if you have 20 mistakes at a singular thing, which is already very difficult to even do. The most important part to understand is that Focusing on progress and the process is what is going to get you there, where you want to go. You're never going to get anywhere 
because if you never stop, if you never start moving, right? If you don't take action, you will never get anywhere. That's the simple truth. So instead of trying to do everything perfectly the first time, just start doing and you will naturally improve over time. The person who starts today and then keeps doing that thing for 30 days will be way better at whatever they're doing than the person who planned for 29 days and then went and did it once on the 30th day. As simple as that. So remember, don't stop when you're tired, stop when you're done. Peace.